um, I started reading about what they were saying and I, was, and I just was like, I don't even want to watch this because first of all, I don't believe anything. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I really don't because in my own personal experience, Hef was so protective of all of his playmates and he was so protective of whoever he was with. He would never allow things like that to happen everything was an option like was there an option for me to go upstairs into his room absolutely mm -hmm. was it ever forced to me oh sorry <laughs> was that forced to me or force sorry that's all right you're good was it ever forced on me never was it even somewhat forced on me never it was just an option yeah and I chose not to have not to do that so anybody that did that or participated in extra activities in the bedroom or with anything that was completely their choice. Welcome fellow Lushes. Come on in, pull up a bar stool and enjoy some cocktails with dimples and the beard. Duck, 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 duck. These boxes are beautiful. Now that's a nice thing to say about playmates. Start over. How about you say that? <laughs> Start over. Okay. No, these boxes really are beautiful. Your beautiful daughter did a wonderful job. These are custom made. Cut. Shout out. Shout out to Callie. Callista. I'm sorry. She's going back. She's going back. I shouldn't say going back. She she's tried for years, but we're so used to calling her Callie. I approve. You know why? 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 Because only children leave the I or the Y up there. And you know, like when you know a guy named John and he goes by Johnny. Oh, yeah. Uh, as, a, as an adult. Huh. Does that happen? Do you know what I think of that? You're John, motherfucker. Do you happen to, is that ever, have you, oh, she's here. Okay. Yeah. I do know some people named Johnny. A lot of them, actually. Yeah. All mm. right. You don't want to comment? Thank you, Callista. <laughs> For doing the custom artwork. All right. Never keep a beautiful woman waiting. Here we go. Please. Please keep singing. That's not right. Please keep singing. There is a song. Please keep singing. Is there a song by Jefferson Air Airplane, Sarah? <laughs> Hi, Sarah. Hi. Hello, hello. <laughs> How are you? We are great. Thank you so much. He was serenading you, and I he, I think he cut off before you, I you got in. Know. But hear yeah. it. Do it yeah. again. Thank, thank you. <laughs> Because I was just thinking, is there is there a, there's got to be songs out there with Sarah, the name. Yeah, I was singing Sarah Smile. Oh yeah, um, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, I think, and then there's that's Hollow Notes and Jefferson Starship. I think there's two songs with Sarah that yep. I know. Of. I just said that Jefferson Starship. See, See? All I, right. I was singing Oh Sherry, but using Oh Sarah or Oh, oh Sarah. <laughs> yeah, I love Oh Sherry. That's a great song. Anyway. <laughs> Let's, I use it a lot with any name, but anyway, yes. Yeah, just replace the names. So thank you for joining us, Sarah Elizabeth, Miss November 2006. Yeah, thank we, you for having me. We, uh, I, I say this every time we talk to one of you lovely ladies, we continue to have to pinch ourselves that this is really happening and that we continue <laughs> to somehow get you, you beautiful ladies to talk to us. So thank you very much. We appreciate it. Our pleasure. So, so oh, is that okay? It is. It is. Hey. I was gonna say cheers. Are you enjoy? Are you sharing? So, yep. I have my little my sparkling rose here. Nice. I have okay. it. Okay, sparkling. Sparkling, but it's still rose. That's all I could get my hands on. So beggars can't be choosers. Whatever, right? You gotta whatever get, works. You drink what you can get. Yes. <laughs> cheers to you. Yeah, cheers to cheers. you. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks for having me. And we are uh we're drinking Dave Matthews Band Rosé because we are headed to Alpine Valley for a couple of Dave Matthews Band shows this weekend. So, Oh, I didn't know they had a rosé. Yeah, they do. Yes. Very delicious. Check it out. Okay. Dreaming I will Tree. The, the Dreaming definitely. Tree is the name of the brand. So I love Dave Matthews, so I'll definitely try that. Awesome. Another Dave Matthews fan. I know we're, yes. we're, we're talking to Jennifer Pershing in a few weeks, and I know she's on her way to a show tonight. So... Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's awesome. So we we typically start these things and just go over kind of your Playboy experience and how you uh, 
how you got, did you get discovered? Did you audition? You know, kind of your whole process for getting into the magazine and, and all that. So my whole process started, I was living in Florida and um, I was approached, I was doing, do you, have you heard of Liberator? No. It's it those like sex pillows. <laughs> oh yes. Like the random thing. <laughs> so um, when they first, like they first started in uh, Georgia and the photographer there knew this lady who was associated with Playboy and she's like, I really want to test shoot you for, to be become a playmate. And at first I was like, oh my gosh, that's so scary. I couldn't do that. And I was married at the time. And of course my husband was like, no way. So fast forward a couple months, we got divorced. <laughs> I called her up. I'm like, hey, hey, you know, they'll, you know, test shoot for Playboy. And so I flew up to Georgia and uh, she test shot me and set my, um, my proofs into Hef. And I guess, so Hef's very particular and he like knows what he wants. And at that time that they sent my photos in, he wanted, um, I guess, more of a brunette. Okay. And how picky he was. And I was really blonde at that time. And um, so he did not choose me at first. I became a cyber girl. Okay. So I continued to do like cyber girl. Then I won cyber girl of the month. And I continued to do all these shoots. So that's why there's like a lot of pictures of naked pictures of me. Because <laughs> I did all the cyber stuff first. <laughs> Okay. I did see that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then, um, I don't know exactly how it happens. Oh, then I got a call from, um, uh, Steven Weta, which is the photographer. And he said, you know, Hef wants you to come out here and do a test shoot here in LA. So I flew out there, did a test shoot and, you know, have decided that, you know, I was playing material at that point. The rest is history. Was your hair yeah, different? Right. So yeah, that was like my first time out um, at the mansion and meeting half and spent a lot of time with half and the girls when he had, you know, the girls next door were filming and it was just it was an awesome experience. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. We're in He's an amazing, amazing man. Oh, good to hear. That's yeah, what we've been yeah. hearing. Yeah, we hear that so much, obviously. Were you, were you yeah. able to get on episodes of the girl next door? No, it was oh. like towards the end of, uh, of filming. I think that they filmed one of the parties, but that I was at, but no, I was never on it. Sure. No, but it was so nice. Like all the girls were nice. Half is like amazing. I saw a lot of stuff, but <laughs> <laughs> you know, as you will, that you can either participate in or not. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah, believe it, believe it or not, I've seen a lot of stuff too, and I've never been to the mansion. So it's not the yeah. only place it happens. <laughs> it's not the only place, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I took my son there at the time he was uh he was probably five years old, and I took him to the mansion for Easter. Yeah. And he was swimming in the grotto and he has like his hands out like this. And I'm like, you have no idea what's happening in this place. <laughs> <laughs> and he and was just son. like he was the king of the world in the grotto. I'm like, you are going to love this picture one day. <laughs> I bet he does now. Huh? Oh. Yeah. He's got the say. picture given half with thumbs up and, you know, it's pretty cool. How cool is that? Yeah. I just saw he just graduated, huh? Yes. Yeah. My oldest wow. is actually came into his dorm next month to NAU. How's mom doing with that? Um, you know what? I'm actually better than I thought I'd be. Yeah. I, I, um, I'm excited for him in this journey. Um, I think that he'll do great. I'm, it's, it's so cool to see your firstborn grow and to be a man. Like he's almost 19 Yeah. and, um, he's just, he's a great kid. I'm super proud of him. And I've got two other little ones now that I have. So I've got one leaving the house and two more to go. Perfect. I'll well, exactly how it is, is it's exciting to nervous. You're, you don't like to see him go, but you're excited for their adventure. Exactly. I'm excited. I think he'll, 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 he'll be good. It'll be really good. And Flagstaff where he's going is a really cool. It's a really cool town. Yeah. How far away will he be then? He'll, he's only like a little over two hours. Okay. okay. So close enough where, yeah. If any, yeah. If you, if you get, if you miss him too much, you can make a weekend trip. 
absolutely. Yeah. And I can bring the kids up there to see them. We can go skiing and yeah, it'll be fun. That's awesome. I mean, Last year I sent my youngest 20 hours away. That was, okay. yeah, no, That's I'd rather have two hours. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. Your youngest went 20 hours away. Yes. Oof. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, the only I'm one that ready. went away. So yeah, not ready for that. <laughs> Luckily, I have still, I still have two more at home. Yeah, you got time. They'll get there. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'll, I'll yeah. save the heartache. <laughs> just, yeah, don't yeah. go now. I, I only have one, two, and she's six. So I got a lot of time to, or seven, oh. excuse me. She just turned seven, so. Yeah. Okay, I have a six-year-old. Okay, nice. And eight-year-old, so yeah. Oh, fun. Nice. Yeah. It's a fun um, age. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. Well, Sometimes. I, I, I love it because I feel like she's uh we're finally at about the same maturity level now that she's seven and I'm 48. We're good. So we have a lot more in common now, right? <laughs> we do. We do. So <laughs> get along much better. <laughs> <laughs> that we do until she hits like 13, I'm sure. And then it'll be oh, oh it's different. That's gonna be, yeah. That's one thing that I'm very thankful that I don't have girls. I don't think that I could be a girl mom. Yeah. Oh, so three boys. Okay. I yeah, all three boys. And I, I feel like girls are a lot tougher, you know, and boys, it's kind of like being it's like that tough love. I think it's easier for boys and girls. It's like, you don't want to do it because you want to like, you're more soft and loving yeah. and boys. I'm like, you're bleeding. It's fine. Put on a bed. Like you're fine. Suck it up. Be a man. Yep. yep. You're yep. exactly right. My, my, my oldest was a boy. And once my, my second came as a daughter, I was like, this is nothing. Yeah, it's completely different. And yeah. then I had two girls after that. So yeah, it's completely different. Oh, okay. So you know, yeah. yeah. That's crazy. So obviously wonderful, but still. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Completely different. Yeah. <laughs> so uh back to the Playboy thing. 2006, I'm assuming in 2006, the whole cyber thing, that was probably pretty early in Playboy getting onto the internet and doing a bunch of stuff. I, I mean, I'm sure they were there already, but probably yeah. when they were just starting to really grow with the internet. I think so. I mean, they had had like Cyber Girl and Cyber Girl the Week things before. Um, and I think that they just, I mean, I don't really know too much because I didn't do a lot more with the whole cyber thing. I pretty much went right into right after that into becoming a playmate. Um, but yeah. it just more content and pictures out there. Sure, sure. Yeah. And then, and then once you became a playmate, just a whirlwind for a year is usually what I hear. Yeah. Your life yeah. taking so, over for a year. Yeah, it was really cool. Just all my experiences and um the jobs and signings and it was a lot, it was a lot of fun. It really, you know, and I was young. Um, you know, so I was what 22. <laughs> Is there a is there a signing or a special city that stands out that you just really enjoyed? It was all really fun. I really, really enjoyed um, the Super Bowl party in Miami. Oh, um, that was a lot of fun because I was a, a brand new playmate that was in January of 2007. Um, so I was still fairly new. Yep. And I met a lot of the girls. That's when I became, you know, really good friends with um, Jennifer Walcott um and um Allison Waite like I just kind of really met everybody and and they were so nice I mean the the sisterhood and the bond between the girls has is you know lifelong like we st we still talk to this day and even yeah. though it's not as often as we want to it's kind of like we just are able to pick up where we left off because we have this bond yeah so I, I love that it's given that to me. And that's, that's probably like my favorite thing that, that Playboy's um, offered me and, and given to me is that kind of that sisterhood that just really never goes away. Yeah. And it's so neat to hear. Yeah. I was going to say, yeah. that's it. Another thing that we, we hear from every, every playmate that we talk to is, you know, just about how wonderful the, the sorority is and how there really wasn't much cattiness to the whole thing when you think there no. might be. And so it's cool to hear. Yeah. That's why it was really cool when, um, Jennifer actually told me about this. Victoria Fuller yep. was doing this whole rogue bunnies thing. And, you know, I'm into like crypto and I'm kind of familiar about things like that. And I'm learning about the NFTs. And so I was like, oh, that sounds amazing. Just the whole having that, all the 
playmates back together doing this awesome project. So I was very excited to sign on. And, you know, there's a lot of great women and great playmates that are a part of it that I'm excited to be a part of it too. Yeah, that's awesome. I was going to ask if you were if you were part of it because we've talked we've had Victoria on twice, right? Explain yeah. it to oh. us. <laughs> and okay. Then dumb it dumb it down for us. <laughs> yeah. I'm still like I'm learning a lot. Um she's super smart about it. Um mm -hmm. even when she talks to me about it, I'm like, "Okay, just speak slowly." <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for, you know, whatever happen, happen, ha happens, happens, but just having all the girls being a part of something and supporting each other and supporting Victoria and this whole, um, idea I think is amazing. Yeah. And I think it'll be great. Yeah, it will. It will. It's taken off. It seems, you know, so yeah. far it's doing great. Yeah. Yeah, it is. I know I was, when they, uh, when the NFT started to to get auction and go on sale i was hoping i might be able to early on sneak in and get one but they uh, no. they were doing pretty well right from the get-go <laughs> oh so you didn't get anyone you didn't I get didn't, anybody i did not know but i i do know that the trading cards now are starting to you know come out so. show themselves a little bit so i think that'll be a little more attainable a little easier for yeah. for the rest of us you know us not not us whales that <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't sitting on my yacht the day that they went on. <laughs> quite get one. They quite get one. That's it was, all right. It was cool to watch though because I I would watch them most days and it seemed like like the first day if you wanted to get one the first one to get was the first one and then the from there <laughs> like it just I, went. Didn't uh didn't Victoria's go for over like almost six? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. That's pretty, so, that's pretty amazing. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, so happy for her. For What's whole, that? I was so happy for her when that, yeah, that oh, absolutely. this whole thing came up. Me too. I, I think it's amazing. So it's an awesome new journey that I think we're all on. And I love that we're all on, all on it together. So do you get to, do you get together with them to discuss prior to, have you been Not able to? And so I think that now that I'm a part of it, um, hopefully I'll be able to attend some things in person. I'm at the point now where my, my youngest two are at an age where I can, leave them yeah in the garage <laughs> we're outside you know just having people take care of them just yeah. say hey my kids are okay <laughs> like i'm doing right now <laughs> <laughs> neighbors neighbors are great right <laughs> it, it, it takes a village <laughs> it does and that's exactly what actually my neighbor just texted me because i've had her kids here the last two days swimming and just having fun Cause she was dealing with her youngest and some things that he was dealing with. And so she's like, thank you so much. And I'm like, well, you know what? I have a go. So she's like, it takes a village. And luckily, you know, we have each other. That's awesome. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, there are still good people out there. There yeah. are, there are more I, than, yeah, more than a lot of people around me that are amazing. So, so you mentioned uh, the Super Bowl is one of your, one of your highlights. And uh, I, I, I thought you were shaking your head right. Um, and I saw a picture of you with Lil John. Oh yeah, that was at the Super Bowl party. And we we do a we do a Lil John um, impersonation. If you'd like to hear it, I want to hear it. Yes. <laughs> you didn't think I was gonna ask this? Uh, are you are you doing no, the first? I didn't explain. It was the are you doing the first part or the second part? Um. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> Sorry if we just blew your speakers out. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we, we were uh one of our early episodes we were drunk and we just did that for minutes straight yeah just doing the little john <laughs> but we just did over and over again yeah. over and over again so when we saw oh. the picture with you with him we were like okay i'm like i we i gotta ask <laughs> yeah how cool he was, was he we didn't really talk much he uh, didn't talk you know yeah i there's nothing that like stands out about him he he uh, picked, he wanted, there was like three girls that I think he just kind of chose three different girls and we took pictures and yeah, that's really it. But <laughs> yeah, uh, just that whole experience, that the whole, the whole, um, the whole weekend was just really a lot of fun. And that was like when um, the PSP just came out. Oh, okay. So it was like, it was me. Jennifer Walcott, Sarah Underwood, 
and Allison Waite. And we would, we were walking around on like the boardwalk with these PS, um, PS2s or PSPs yeah. in like fanny packs with like little short shorts and little tank tops and just asking people to play them. <laughs> <laughs> and that was like our job to like promote the whole PSP thing. I'm guessing uh, it wasn't hard to get people to play. <laughs> yeah, we're like, hey, you want to play this? <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> but it was fun, and everybody did. I, right, that's, yeah. It, have the, it, it seems like when Playboy it sponsors anything, it's never uh, half-assed. It's always, yeah. yeah. You know, it was the, make sure that told everybody enjoyed playing PSP that day. <laughs> <laughs> How could you not? How could right. you? I want to. <laughs> yeah, it was fun, but the whole experience was a lot of fun, and the party and. It was fun. It was a lot of a really good time. Was there anybody who uh, you were a little starstruck over meeting down there at the Super Bowl? <gasps> I'm not. I don't really get starstruck. Yeah. Um. I really just. I suppose if you yeah. at the mansion, nobody on. Huh? They yeah. just like. Eh. Yeah. Like I met, you know, at the mansion. Um. I met like Leonardo DiCaprio. And, um, you know, Travis Barker and, you know, like all, all those people. Yeah. Uh, Which one of them hit on you? <laughs> all, on. all of them. So Besides- I will say one thing. So <laughs> the worst, I'll say the worst one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm sorry, he's Polly Shore. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good old Polly. First. <laughs> I mean, yeah yeah I, poor guy <laughs> i'm pretty sure that surprises nobody <laughs> yeah, yeah. Really, so i didn't really i didn't even know who he was <laughs> yeah right at that point his yeah he was kind of good in the valley a little bit yeah. <laughs> of his career really i hope he stepped up his game <laughs> well i think like we we know uh, he hasn't you know but okay. we we know a, a, a f- friend of ours used to own a comedy club and Paulie would come to town quite a bit to his comedy club. And uh, I don't think Paulie really had to very often hit on women. It was pretty easy for him. So I'm in guessing- In the small towns. In the small towns, right, yeah. So when he actually had to hit on them, it was probably difficult. <laughs> that, that makes sense now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, he was yes. very nice, you know. And I talked to, you know, Travis a little bit and he was very nice. And like, I a lot of people, um, I forgot who else. Um, I don't even really remember. I have pictures, but yeah, you know, fun. I, I just kind of like, I was just in awe of just being there and the whole experience, like, you know, with other playmates and half and yeah. Right. But yeah. So I, I don't really get starstruck. Yeah. I mean, I think of all the names you've mentioned, the one who I'd be starstruck the most is half. So I'm like, yeah. yeah. And he's like the easiest person to, talk to and be around and feel comfortable around like he was the easiest yeah so okay. yeah made i made it comfortable I, for you right away oh absolutely yeah nice yeah sure he was and that's why not to bring a bad subject this whole documentary like i Thank couldn't you. even watch it i mean i started to and it was just um I just felt like it was just all these lies and I just felt so like sick yeah, that man. air this without as somebody who's passed that can't even defend themselves. Like if this was such an issue, you should have, this should have been mentioned when he was alive to defend himself. Like this, it, it's gross. It is. Yeah. I, we, haven't, we haven't watched it. So we don't, we can't speak except um, what we've heard. Um, and we, we tried having Holly on. And she, <laughs> she wouldn't, but anyways, yeah. we gave her the opportunity. Yeah. She, she declined. I'm not, I'm not surprised. It was, yeah. it was funny when we were, we were preparing and researching for the, I saw the picture of you and with Holly right behind you in her picture. Yeah. Like, so like, you were there at that time. Yeah. 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 Did, yeah. Um, I was there. um, yeah, it's sad. So, um, so you started watching, so they, started bashing right away in the documentary like again we didn't watch it so like yeah they paid him they painted him as a really um 
just bad man. And then I started reading about it. Sorry, my things are up. Um, I started reading about what they were saying, and I was, and I just was like, I don't even want to watch this because, first of all, I don't believe anything. Yeah. Hmm. Um, I really don't because in my own personal experience, Hef was so protective of all of his playmates, and he was so protective of whoever he was with. He would never allow th- things like that to happen. Everything was an option. Like, was there an option for me to go upstairs into his room? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Was it ever forced to me? Oh, sorry. <laughs> was that forced to me or forced? Sorry. That's all right. You're good. Was it ever forced on me? Never. Was it even somewhat forced on me? Never. It was just an option. Yeah. And I was not to have not to do that so anybody that did that or participated in extra activities in the bedroom or with anything that was completely their choice yeah because i lived through it and there was no i was never pressured to do drugs or drink or anything have sex and it also seems like that you're saying so you had the choice and you choose not to then nobody was shunned for not doing it. It seemed, you know, nobody has a bad story of once I said no, then I couldn't come back to the mansion. It was always welcome after that. Yeah, it was just the answer is no. And that's perfectly fine. Yeah, it's there not like a, I mean, other girls that were there that said yes. Right. So I was going to say, he had, he had plenty of yeses. So <laughs> exactly. He's yeah. not going to get mad about one little no. Yeah, true. Yeah, it was never like that. It was just, it was never like that. And you know, he was all about um, supporting women and women's rights and gays and lesbian. Like he was just everything they're putting pitting him out to be was just so not him. Yeah. Hmm. So we, it was just I didn't want to waste my time that is valuable to watch something that was complete trash. We're with you. Yeah. Exactly. And a lot we've heard, too, is, I mean, you feel comfortable in many stories of you, you bring your children there. So you felt so yeah. comfortable that you were, you came to well, it, and yeah. he had parties, Easter parties and whatnot for Absolutely. playmates to bring their children. That's, that's Absolutely. a lot. Yeah. That, that was actually probably one of my favorite parties was Easter, um, where he would, he would have the, uh, uh, the playmates bring their families. And, and that was probably my favorite just to see, you know, the kids and all the playmates and dressed up in their awesome, like Sunday Easter best. And, uh, it was just really, really cool. Just, and he was just, he loved the kids and I have a great picture with Hef and my oldest, right. which was awesome. You know, it's a beautiful picture. I actually have over here. Um, and I'm bummed that he passed away before I could bring my two other ones there. Cause he was a great man. Yeah. Yeah. And we had two, to a person, to a woman that we've we've talked to, it's all. I mean, we haven't had anybody say not so far, no, but a negative word, and and we've tried. You know, it's not like we're just reaching out to ones that we know or we're going to get the answers we want. We're you know we're willing. Obviously, we're willing to talk to any playmate who is willing to talk to us. Both sides, <laughs> but, but there aren't any that are both sides. Well, you're not gonna. I I will be highly. I, I highly doubt there'll be there'll be anybody that will be truthful and say that Hef was a bad man. Right. 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 Well, I, and- felt safe. I knew if I was at the mansion, I was safe. I knew if I was in his presence, like if we were out to dinner or at a nightclub, I was so safe. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I can't imagine anybody saying anything bad about him. That's why I know this whole thing was built on lies. Right. And money and money. Yeah. And money. Yeah, exactly. And money. We're willing to pay someone to come on and talk bad about stuff. They'll, they'll do it. (laughs) Or not. Gross. (laughs) We're not. We can't do. No, we're not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's yes. Yeah. Well, it's that's happy to hear, and uh, because obviously, I think as both of us have grown up, um, for other reasons, looked up to have, and then it's just so cool yeah. to hear beyond that stories that he didn't flaunt. You know, his um, helping people out and helping the playmates' children and all that but he was a good dude besides just us as younger guys looking up to him because I mean, who doesn't want to be in their bathrobe <laughs> surrounded by beautiful women? I mean, exactly. So you know, they want to be surrounded by him because he was a great man. Right. Yeah. If you're not sleeping with him, he was a great man. Yeah. I mean, I, I looked at him like my kind of like grandpa, like he was, I really did. Yeah. 
So, okay. yeah, that's why it was just I couldn't watch that documentary. So after uh, um your your whirlwind of a year of a playmate, did, how long about how long did you last? Meaning doing work with the play with a Playboy. So, and so for me, I didn't last very long, only because I started dating somebody um pretty early on mm -hmm. and um he was part of the uh playboy racing team okay. okay so uh i kind of shut down my yeah i kind of started, um which we hear a lot you know huh? which we hear a lot you know once they you know somebody gets a solid relationship they move on and stuff. yeah and that's yeah. another that's another point we need to talk about enough is they've had playboy racing team yeah, I mean, they yeah. did cool stuff like that. That's that's really yeah. neat. They had a lot. They had like the Playboy golf. They had racing. Um, they had a lot of stuff. But Were yeah, you... I do wish that I would have stayed with it a little bit longer. Just because it was, you know, it was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. And I seriously loved every single girl I worked with. I I couldn't tell you one girl that I worked with that I was like, uh, and that was like, <laughs> like I sure. can't think of one. They were all just so sweet and amazing and supported. We just all support each other, which was just awesome because as a woman, you don't really experience that in a everyday life and having something like Playboy, you would think they'd be so catty and competitive. And it was like the, the opposite. Because, like yeah. they were talking like, oh my gosh, you're here. You're beautiful. You're sweet. Let's come to the club. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you're part of such oh. an exclusive club. It is. You know, there's yeah. so few of you that it's not like there's, you know, I mean, there's not a lot of need to be competitive because there's so few of you and, and uh, you've reached you know, that that ultimate level. So. Exclusive right. club. Yeah. So were you into racing before you met your boyfriend or is that what got you into no. racing? And are you still into racing? Um, I, I'm not. Um, I, I did all the like the racing, the play were racing events just because he happened just to book me out for months in advance um but no i, I mean i i like formula one yeah. it's cool to watch but now it's kind of boring because like the same people win um i kind of like more of a uh, you know it's always like the same people but yeah yeah Okay. I know it got yeah. very popular that, it, but... that that documentary came out and made F1 very popular. I've never really watched it, but yeah, so. I only watch, I watched a few episodes and it was really, it was, I liked it only because it showed the drivers um, in a different light, not so how they are on the track, like just being people. And I'm like, mm -hmm. Oh my God, this guy actually cusses. I like him. <laughs> like this guy's actually real. He's not so so I thought that was kind of cool. Um, I only watched a few episodes, but I, I like it. I, I liked it. Yeah. Yeah. I've heard a lot of people love it. So did, yeah. Did, it was, have you driven in the car? You, I'm, I'm assuming. I have. Not a Formula One, but I have done, um, I forget what racetrack it was. And I did a two-seater. And it was the <sighs> funny story. It was, he was the guy who was strapping me in, was too scared to like really strap me in good because <laughs> I think he was <laughs> me <laughs> yeah I'm, right so, so he did not do a good job and then my helmet wasn't really put on right so i was like going in the car like crazy and um the guy who took me which was the guy i was dating he uh took me to the point where he actually beat the record for pole position on that track which means he like did not hold yeah it, he went crazy wow. with me in the so I come back in and I'm like, my head, my helmet is like to the side. The straps are completely like loosened. And I'm like, I had the worst backache. And he's like, I'm so sorry. I didn't strap you in enough. I didn't know who was going to go that hard. And I'm like, I was sore for so long. <laughs> of course. Well, so that of was course. my first and last experience in a race car. <laughs> so of course he was going to go that hard. He's trying to impress you. He's going to drive that thing as fast as he can. I he's like, <laughs> yep, right. He was trying to. That's what I was thinking the whole time. Like, yeah, of course he's gonna beat their track yeah, record. He's I was strapped in, and my helmet was like <laughs> making my head go like this the whole time. 
I can, I can remember getting hit in like 90 miles an hour on a snowmobile once and had the same thing happen where the helmet wasn't tight enough. And all of a sudden it was like this. And you're like, uh Oh, <laughs> I know. And you can't like fix it. You're just yeah. like, <laughs> yep. yeah, yeah, it was not, not good, but it, it would be fun to go that, that fast. Yeah. <sighs> Hopefully feeling comfortable or, you know, secure, safe. Yeah. Uh, which yeah. apparently you didn't. <laughs> I didn't that time and I have not been in a race car since. <laughs> I think I'm too big of a control freak to sit in the passenger seat of a race That's car. True. I don't. Mm. Yeah. You have to be pretty trusting, you know, and make sure that you're with somebody that knows what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I did. Um, so after now, after you got out of the biz, what um what assuming you went to the restaurant business shortly after or how long before you did go into the restaurant business? So I opened up my restaurant in May of 2017. Okay. Oh, not that. Okay. Not yeah. Before I that, I went to merchant processing and I did more of like professional stuff like that. Um, but I always miss modeling. I felt like I should have done it a little bit longer. Yeah. But um it's okay. Like, well, maybe I can get a 40 year old model. <laughs> why? I was just going to say, why can't you do it today? Well, I mean, I, I possibly could, cause I'm really into like fitness now and CrossFit. <laughs> no, 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 Net, There's no, maybe <laughs> there's no, maybe you could do it today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we just clarify that right now? <laughs> okay. You well, 100% maybe could adventure. do it today. <laughs> on top of everything else I have going on, I will get into that then. <laughs> but, <laughs> not into the rest business and opened up my restaurant Koi Pokey and um I've had that for five years now it's and I opened up seven of them and then sold six in November 2019 right before the pandemic that's so good it was timing like perfect time I know I wow add who I sold it to because <laughs> they shut down a couple stores but mm -hmm. bad timing for them great for me <laughs> but um but so my restaurant no, I, it's right by my house. I can walk there. It's like my second home. Um, all my employees I've had since day one, except for the ones that went to college, went away to college. It's super healthy eating, um, just all things that I love, you know? So yeah, I, I won't do any more restaurants or do it again, but I'll always have that one. Yeah. Okay. Well, so that brings up a lot of question in my mind it seems like it was a short period of time to open so many restaurants that's that's very yeah. aggressive isn't it yeah so two years i had help i did not do it myself <laughs> that's for sure <laughs> still no chance i was also raising kids uh no i did not do it myself uh but yeah we had seven total and i had you know i had with all the restaurants i had a few investors um and then the right time was to sell and sell a franchise um, rights and for Koi Bito, not Koi, what I have and did that. And now I just have the one that's like my fourth baby. Nice. So is, is the one that you still currently own? Is that the only one that's called Koi Pokey? Yes. Okay. So all the rest of them changed names and yeah, all the rest of them are called Koi Bito. Okay. Um, and Ko Koi Bito is, um, all of the, the franchise stores. Okay. So there's only one Koi Pokey. Okay. Was that part of the deal that I'll sell you them, but I'm keeping one? Um, yeah, I may still want the one because it's the most profitable and, you know, but I'll never sell it. Yeah. I'll never sell it. It's, I, you know, I employ an entire family that I have since for five years. I would never do that to them. And um, I just, it's, it's fun. It's like a second family and I like being able to like, be like, I don't like cooking. I'm going to go to Koi. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Right. And by looking yeah. at the, me by looking at the, looking at the menu online, it all looks delicious. So it's delicious. Like the, yeah, we're like number one here. Yeah. So what brought you to do? I mean, was that like, this is my favorite food. Hey, I'm gonna open a restaurant. How, how did, so I mean, that, I, it's a big deal. Oki was like really, really big. And you saw, I don't know if, where you're where, where you're at but there were like pokey places or poke places like just popping up everywhere um and we kept going to this place called ahi pokey and it's like a chain and they were okay and so 
I'm like, well, let's just do this, but better. And there was a place that was going under right by, right by the house. And I got to know the people that worked there that owned the place and they were going to file a bankruptcy and lose everything. And I said, uh, don't do that. Let's just make this into a new concept. And they're like, why would you do that? Like, you're taking a huge chance. I'm like, I think this is going to work. And so uh, I took over because they personally guaranteed everything, which is, you know, they were, it was, it was not good. So um, we took over, made it coy and the rest is history. That's awesome. And that's the family that's still there. And so no, the family that I employ now is like our chef and our, okay. Yeah. So, but I'm still like best friends with the previous owners because we just remain best friends and they now live in California. Um, They were able to move back to California, getting out of this place. And nice. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so it's kind of a snap decision. Hey, I'm going to just don't, don't go bankrupt. I'm going to buy this. That's big. And I'm taking a risk, but it's worth it. And it was worth it. It, it obviously seems like it was well worth it, but boy, what, you know, way to be confident and, and uh, in yourself to just, I'm going to make this same type of restaurant work, but I got better ideas. That's, uh, that's confidence. Yes. yes. And it's still the number one place. Yeah. I was going to say you went, you've won the yeah. best of Phoenix or best of the Valley awards yeah. year after year after year. So. Yes. Yes. It's, it's amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. We're, we're actually in Wisconsin and we, I, I don't think we have anything oh. like that around here. No, unfortunately. So, yeah. you know. I don't know. I don't know. My dad's from Wisconsin. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, yeah. Okay. What house, part? Um, he's from, I think Madison. Okay. But went to uh, college there as well. And so his, he's a total Badger fan. Like, yes. Badger fan. So his, his, he's got a red tin roof in Florida <laughs> and he's got a Badger mailbox. <laughs> Nice, nice. Well, tell him Badger, Badger fans say hello because we're hour and a half away from Madison. Yeah, I will. Yeah, absolutely. Good for him. Good for him. Yeah, yeah. Did you ever go to a Badger game? I did not. No, no. I've only been to Wisconsin maybe three times. Sure. Yeah. It's an experience. So it's yeah. You're. Tell your dad to take you to a Badger game. <laughs> okay, I will. It's, I will. it's worth it. It's a lot of fun. If nothing else, just for the start of the fourth quarter, because they, they play Jump Around, have the House of Pain song, Jump Around. Oh, and fun. the whole crowd, like the, the whole stadium shakes from the jumping. It's incredible. Oh, I love it. Yeah, it's a fun little tradition. That I don't know how it started, but it's it's awesome. I love it. Yeah, I would totally go to a game like that. Yeah, it's it's. A, I would much rather. I mean, big Packers fan, obviously being from Wisconsin, but I would much rather go to a Badgers game, and they're they're just a lot more fun. Yeah. Awesome. Well, yeah, but, he's, what's that? He's got to take me then. <laughs> Heck yeah! Go. Heck yeah! There you so go. He, how long you said he retired into Florida? Yeah, he's in Florida now. He spends his time between Florida and here now. How many? Uh, so how long has he been retired away from Wisconsin? Um. Well, he left Wisconsin a long time ago. Oh. And he's just retiring this year, um, but he's he goes back there all the time because all of his he's got eight brothers and sisters that still live there. So, okay. and then all of their kids and their kids' kids. So, there's a lot of family there. Yeah, it's a good place to raise a family. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> very family oriented. And I like that. That's what they say. Yeah, <laughs> look what they turn out. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> So I got it. You are, you're one of the, our first guests that we, uh, we threw something out on Instagram and asked people to, to uh, ask some questions that they'd like answered. So oh, wow. no, no, they're very, they're very tame. No, nothing. Okay. I'm a little worried. No, they're <laughs> very, very uh, easy answers. We, we got uh, some guy, big Mike, and just wanted to know your favorite film of all time. My favorite, my favorite film. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, I always, I always love watching pretty woman. Mm. I I love that. Like it always puts me in a good mood. That's a hard one. Yeah. It's hard to narrow it down to one. (laughs) Yeah. I really love that. Um, gosh, that's really, yeah. I would say I also like dirty dancing a lot. Um, 
I love it. Little- once it comes on, you just stop what you're doing and watch it no matter where you start watching it from. Yeah, I, a- I love those movies and I love The Little Mermaid. <laughs> there you <Perfect>. go. <laughs> my, I was going to say, my, that's, that's my seven-year-old's favorite movie currently. So. I love it. And you know they're coming out with a a new little little mermaid but with actual people do you know that a live action yeah 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 Yeah, they're starting to do that with all of them it seems like oh i'm excited for that that's going to be awesome it will it should with the technology nowadays it should be right yeah they can do anything now in movies did you um ever part of the hefs movie night oh yeah oh yeah i went to yeah like the old movie casablanca like the yeah the old movies wow yeah that's that's the night i would have wanted to go to hefs Wink, wink. Yeah. I mean, it, it's the second night. <laughs> it, it was fun. He had so many cool nights like that. Yeah. One of you, you know. know. Didn't he? Yeah. Haven't we heard like he would get up in front of everybody and, and like talk about the movie first and give some details about the movie? And yeah, what it was going to play. Yes, he would. That's so cool. Yeah. Obviously, he was very into into the film industry. So he, loved, yes. And he loved his old movies. Yeah. So do I. Good. Yeah. Other thing we yeah. got in common. Yeah. There you go. Now you just need a velour bathrobe. <laughs> You're halfway home. I'm halfway there. You're almost there. What else almost did they ask for us? Go ahead. <laughs> no, I said almost there. So close. <laughs> so close. Yeah. You just need a mansion and a bathrobe and you're good. <laughs> and like a bunch of women surrounding you. <laughs> yeah. That's going to be the hardest part. Yeah. I've been All right. trying forever. Anyways. Yeah. The same fan also wanted to know if you've ever been to Chicago. So um i have been to chicago i my first time there was on saint Patrick's day when they turned the river green nice yeah um and i did a signing out there when i first became playmate okay. um then i went back there because that's actually where my mom's from oh nice my mom's from chicago and um i went out there i don't remember some summer years ago sure so you got you got midwest parents where were you actually born and raised here in Arizona. Okay, so you're lifelong Arizona. <laughs> yes, I lived in Florida for three years, and then I've been here. I've been back here since 2007. Okay, our last one of our last trips before the actually our very last our trip last before trip. the pandemic, we were out in uh, somewhere. Where in where in Arizona? Scottsdale. I think we were in Scottsdale. Scottsdale. What's that? I'm in Scottsdale. There's that uh, the Innings Music Festival at like um like the ballpark or whatever the, oh yeah. yeah yeah dave That's matthews played there 15 minutes from my house oh wow okay small, yeah. small world yeah that's crazy yeah that, that was uh yeah that was our last trip before the pandemic hit and that was and then our first yeah to see dave yep and it literally closed us down i mean like we days after we flew back yeah it was crazy oh wow well at least you got out and got to see him and travel yeah. a little bit you li- you live in a beautiful city and we, we had- yeah we had a we we stayed we came in earlier we stayed late we spent the day just going around mm-hmm. um went to phoenix for a little bit yeah oh yeah, we, yeah there's there's parts of phoenix that are really nice but if you go you know scottsdale i live in north scott north scottsdale okay. um but you go up to like you know um pass and you go to like sedona and you know which is only an hour and a half drive flagstaff but all of it. I mean, just like right now, like I'm just surrounded by mountains and I love mountains. I love hiking. I love all that okay. kind of stuff. So yeah. It's, I'll we always had, live. I love we went it. To the, we went to the, the minor league game. We did. Yeah. We went to a Brewers game when we were there. Oh the yeah. So, uh, uh, spring training. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yep. And then yeah. we, uh, we tried, we tried to get, we tried, we, I don't remember what the name of the bar was. We found some fancy, some funny name. So yeah. So what we well, do when we visit towns and cities, we will, we'll look at just names. We'll Google and then we'll just visit places. Different bars with different funny names, yeah, funny names breweries, yeah. whatever. So long story short, we're in the we're Ubering to a place, and the Uber driver says, "So have you guys ever been to this bar? It's like Funky Monkey. It was something, something goofy like that, yeah. right?" And it was not. It was after the game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she, um, so she's like, "Are you sure you want me to take you to the Funky <laughs> Monkey on?" X Boulevard. We're like, yeah, why not? It looked like a fine place. We whatever. We didn't care. <laughs> we we just go into any place. We love dumps. We love whatever. And she like like the third time was nervous. Like, are you sure? After we said we're out of town and just oh, God. she's just kind of like, 
I don't feel right dropping you two the way you two guys off at this bar. I'm almost. She offered to wait in her car in the parking lot for us to go in and make sure we were okay. And then we're really? like, yeah. we're like, okay. So what was this place? When she got there, it was, it was like, uh, it was run down a little bit. I'm not knocking any neighborhoods. I don't remember the neighborhood. It wasn't a far drive. It, it wasn't was a, that like a far, yeah. Seven minute drive from the training place. Yeah. And there was other shops and that, and then there was a bar and it was in a strip mall and I just, she parked and she just oh. kind of pleaded with us one last time to I'll take, I'll turn the meter off and I'll take you anywhere. Please don't go in there. <laughs> and we went, maybe we should listen to the local people. <laughs> and so did you not go in? We did not. No, we did not. Cause she basically pleaded so was for it us. Dangerous or was it? Yeah. And, and it was literally in the middle of the day. It was the middle. Of, yeah. She thought it was dangerous for us to go in. So wow yeah so she drove us back to scottsdale for free <laughs> so either she saved oh, our lives or we gave her a good tip i don't know but <laughs> okay good. but she yeah well yeah it was like i'll turn my meter off i'll take you anywhere you want you don't have to pay me i just don't want to leave you two here like, <laughs> finally because the whole time we're just like ah we're good we get along with anybody fine wow and then finally we're like well maybe we'll listen to her sometimes you so gotta Choose that place then. I say it again. What made you choose that place? Just by like Yelp, like Yelp, and just it was just a funny the name. name. The name was alone. A funny name. The name alone. Period. <laughs> it was no the funky oh monkey God. or something monkey was before the game, so it was something else. Purple something. I, yeah, I, I don't know. I have no okay. idea. <laughs> it was just a goofy name. We're like we're going there, and we and we do that all the time. And usually it works for you. We get in and people give us that eh, they're not locals. And then next thing you know, we're having fun. We're talking to them and never yeah. had a bad experience. Never. Um, wow. That's crazy. <laughs> but that was funny. Yeah. She just, she pleaded with us. So we said, okay. Yeah. So we went back to Scottsdale and had, and went to a, <laughs> I don't know where we went from that. It doesn't matter. Yeah. But we, oh, we had a good yeah. time after that. Any place in Scottsdale is really a, pretty much so good. It is. It is a neat city. Yeah. So yeah. What is, what is your temperature at today? Uh, right now, it's still 102 at almost seven o'clock at night. Awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's but there's I, no humidity, right? It's it's a dry heat. <laughs> and honestly, like I spent the whole day at the pool. But, you know, I have a pool, so I'm just with the kids in the pool, and it's fine. Yeah, like I don't. Everybody makes such a fuss about. It's hot. Yes, it's hot. But it's like hot for really, really, really hot for like two months, and then. The remaining 10 months is gorgeous. Right, right. So, and that's, I mean, it's the same. I mean, we're just the opposite. It's really, really cold for two months and the rest is fine. <laughs> right. Oh, yeah, exactly. So, right. You know, it's just the opposite. So, yeah, yeah. that's nice. So do yeah. you, have you ever been the cold? I mean, it wasn't cold when you went to Chicago or. No, because I went, well, I went to, it was a little bit, it was there in St. Patty's Day. And so, then I went again in the summer. Um. I don't like the cold. I don't <laughs> enjoy it. I actually just went to Tahoe a, like a month ago. Mm -hmm. um, and I thought it was going to be a summer vacation. And it was not. Because <laughs> it was like it was 78? Crazy. No, it was like, <laughs> like a freeze. That... Like just a month ago. And yeah, it got down in the 40s. And then oh. I think the high was like 74 one day, which is fine. But um, it was pretty cold. It was not a summer vacation. It was yeah. like. If you're coming from 174, I mean, think about it. 50 down to 25 yeah. is a pretty big change. So Yeah, it was a huge change. So, yeah, I, I like to visit colder temperatures, but I definitely prefer the heat. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Awesome. That's why my daughter went to San Antonio. That's yeah. why? One, one of the reasons she's mm -hmm. like, I just want hot. I just want. Do you want out of the cold weather? She did. Yeah. She's I back. Don't... When we're in summer and she comes back and she's sweatshirts. I'm cold, dad. I'm cold. <laughs> That's what I would be. <laughs> My dad from Wisconsin comes out here in December, January, you know, and he's wearing a shirt and shorts and flip flops. And I'm like, aren't you cold? He goes, Sarah, it's 65. I'm like, <laughs> I know it's freezing. <laughs> it's all perspective. Yeah. Yeah. That's all good. <laughs> <laughs> um what do you um so you're not gonna open another restaurant no the rogue bunnies 
Yes. Any big announcements going there? So I will be part of the next launch of Girls. Nice. Um, which I'm excited about. Another and 12? I think she's doing another, I'm not really sure how many she's releasing at one time. Okay. I'm not, not sure the number, but I'll be part of that next release. Yes. N- nice. Nice. Yeah. That's exciting. It is. Yeah. I'm excited. I'm, I'm very excited. I'm happy to be part of it. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah. She's definitely, uh, she's definitely got something very cool going on there. And, uh, I can only imagine how much it's going to grow from here on out with the, with the, uh, virtual mansion yeah. and all, you know, the, the, oh, yeah. the, the club and all this stuff coming up. I, yeah. You got a lot of, a lot of things ahead of you, I think. Yeah. Yeah. And, we're and gonna... I think all these great, you know, playmates, how, you know, behind her and supporting her, I think it's, it, it'll be, it'll do really well. Yeah. Awesome. It's gonna, it has been yeah. cool. cool. Awesome. Thank you so much for, uh, hanging out with us for a little while. And yeah. Uh, we really Thanks appreciate for- it. And that's what we're going to, so once it gets done, we'll, yeah, we're going to push the, the rogue bunny for you. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. Thank so you, you. you want to, uh, just tell everybody where they can find you on, on all the socials and, and, uh, um, so my Instagram is Sarah Elizabeth playmate. Okay. Um, and that's the only, because I was an older playmate and back when I was a playmate, there was only my space, <laughs> <laughs> which totally ages myself. <laughs> Underrated. Um, Did you know MySpace but, is still a thing by the way? Is it? Yes, you can still have a MySpace account, apparently. <laughs> I mean, I listen, I loved MySpace. I thought that was a cool thing to have like your top eight, have music playing and people came to your page. I thought that was awesome. <laughs> yep, right? I, I agree. Um, but I never had like any kind of like fan pages. So I did start an Instagram fan page. Yeah. Um, Sarah Elizabeth Playmate. And and then, of course, the Rogue Bunnies. Yeah. Those are the two... I'll tell, I'll tell all our, because I've noticed we have a, we have a certain demographic. It seems like whenever we have a playmate on those episodes do a little <laughs> better than the rest of our episodes. I don't know why, but <laughs> I yeah. will, I will tell anybody who's here for the majority of the playmate episodes, your Instagram page is definitely worth checking out. I'll just leave it at that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I kind of put some new content on there with my little half naked selfies every once in a while. So <laughs> Yes, yes. It's it's a nice page to to stumble upon. So thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much. We can't say thank you enough. We we always, thank I mean, yeah, appreciate it so much. Let's talk to both of you. Thank it's you. Been, it's our it's been our pleasure. All right. Have a great night. Yeah, you, you too. too. Talk to you soon. Right. Well, we won't. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs> thank you for listening. The tavern is closed for now, but we'd love to have you back for more fun next time. Seriously, though, get your asses out of here. <laughs>